I protected myself because this is a White House where everybody lies. The president lies to the American people. Sarah Huckabee stands in front of the country and lies every single day. You have to have your own back because otherwise you'll look back and you'll see 17 you know knives in your back. It looks so That's that not you disloyalty. Take that's not disloyalty because let me tell you, Chuck, if I did not have this recording, yeah. people would still believe the false, incredible story that I was running around the White House, the false story that was told by a reporter and repeated by this network and other reporters that I tried to charge right. the residents of the White House, and it's a lie. If I didn't have this recording, listen, yep. people would still think that I was trying to set off alarms. So yes, I had to protect myself and I have no regret about it. Let's listen to the recording. I think it's important to understand that if we make this a friendly departure, um, we can all be, you know, you can look at, look at your time here in, in the, the White House as a year of service to the nation, uh, and then you can go on without any type of uh, difficulty in the future relative to your reputation. How did you take that comment about your reputation? It's very obvious a threat. He's, he goes on to say that things can get ugly for you the Chief of Staff of the United States under the direction of the President of the United States threatening me on damage to my reputation and things getting ugly for me. That's downright criminal. And if I didn't have these recordings, no one in America would believe me, no one. So I protected myself and I'm gonna tell you, I'm so glad I did because now we can put to bed all those false rumors that that one reporter stated and the false reporter re reports that were spread around by the media. All right, let me play. Um the portion where you jump in and have a conversation with Mr. Please. Can I hear, ask you a couple of questions? Uh, Does the president, is the president aware of what's uh, going don't, on? Don't, let's not go down the road. This is a non-negotiable discussion. I don't uh, want to negotiate. I just, I've just i never talked, had a chance to talk to you, General Kelly. Yeah, so if this is my departure, I'd like to have at least an opportunity no, uh, to understand. We can, we can talk another time. This has to do with some pretty serious viola integrity violations. Um, so I'll let it go with that. So uh, the, the staff and everyone on the staff works for me, not the president. You've made no bones about that you have a lot of tapes. Um, but he just said the staff and everybody works for him, not the president. Right. You don't have a problem with that, Chuck? There's many the White staff, Houses, for what it's worth, many White Houses are organized that way where the chief of staff is the lead. It tells you that Donald lead. Trump has no idea what's happening in the White House. He has no clue. Are you no convinced clue. he did not know that minute that you No, I fired. know he knows okay. because I've talked to him subsequently. And he said he delegated. I delegated. Mm -hmm. So he knew. He knew that John Kelly was going to take me into the Situation Room and lock me in there, threaten me, and say that things were going to get ugly for me and there would be damage to my reputation. And you know what? The next day there was damage to my reputation 